everyone. Back to On you the now. eve of Super <laughs> Tuesday, President Trump once again counter-programming 2020 Democrats, holding a rally in North Carolina and telling his supporters, quote, we like to troll. The president targeting Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders. Watch. Our country is stronger than ever before. You hear about enthusiasm for crazy Bernie, and that's true. He does have some enthusiasm, but much less than we have. There's not a lot of enthusiasm for Biden. He thought he gave up the presidency the other day because he said he's running for the Senate. And today he just said, uh, Super Thursday. He's looking forward to Super Thursday. Politico weighing in on the president's strategy, writing, quote, Trump gets big, boisterous crowds that have been watching Democrats' TV advertisements for weeks. It injects the president into the news cycle. He gets more reporters than he might otherwise get. Yeah. So, Brett, the president has done this before all of the primaries. Do you really think he likes to troll? Are you <laughs> sure? <laughs> Positive. Like, are we beat. sure? He likes to troll. Don't you think it should be a song almost? Yeah, I mean, he, but he's doing this for every primary, and yeah. he gets big crowds. But are they his base? Are they? Is he trying to reach into the Democratic primary? What is his goal here? It seems on some of these, uh, it's entertainment, and he does entertain the crowd, and he has people laughing at these events, uh, and by doing it, he gets these names established just like he did in 2016 with low energy Jeb and little Marco and uh, and now it's stuck you know now it's sleepy Joe and crazy Bernie um, and mini Mike <laughs> and the whole you know dipping down on the on the microphone uh, about the debate so you know we played that for Mike Bloomberg last yeah. night at the end that was funny and he, his uh, reaction. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just think, I mean, it's so interesting because Kennedy coined the phrase. She said that he goes over, he does a belly flop into the middle of every state where they're having a primary and kind of splashes water over the Democrats. When you, so when you look at him in these rallies, the, the data that comes out afterwards, they say, you know, 25%, for, it's different for each one, but mm -hmm. are Democrats, you know, they're, they're independents. And at first I thought that maybe the campaign was, you know, like fudging those numbers or something. No. But then you realize that what it is is it's stand up it's entertainment and everybody goes like there was one democrat that was on tv and he said my friends dragged me and it's a show in a town and it's free but you know what and everybody they've also goes. done the campaign has now sent a team to oh, yes. each event totally it's and strategy it's a really too, yeah. a really high produced commercial that comes out yeah. that airs in that yes. state well, but you also afterwards. it's That's genius really, really, you derive sorry Go ahead. Well, you derive data as well. I mean, they're also yes. getting data from the people there, also reaching the people that those individuals are affiliated as well, as well. And then he's also looking at the general election states, too. I mean, you look at places like Iowa, you look at places like New Hampshire. He's able to be there and look to, you know, November well, as opposed to dealing with a primary. Well, success in Iowa because they didn't have to recount the votes every time, right? Yeah. Um, I do think that reaching out to African Americans, as you pointed out earlier, mm -hmm. is a big part of their equation this time heading into 2020. Well, he's doing it differently. I mean, you've got the opportunity zones and you've got the economic numbers to back it up. I Judicial mean, notwithstanding reform. the last four days with, with the stock market. But when you look at how people feel and on the ground and, and how many more people of color are employed now compared to previous decades, I mean, he's got a lot to work with now. And then you send out surrogates and let him go to work. And, and so he is attacking it differently. I, I would say this, though, just about those rallies. And I know this from talking to Ronna McDaniel, the, the chairwoman for the RNC. They register a lot of people. You talk about scooping up data. Yep. But they're also bringing people into the fold, maybe a yep. friend or a neighbor who brought you to that entertainment venue. Greenville, North Carolina is an area that I think of because there's Big East Carolina University there. And you had a young crowd when he went there. It, it's an interesting opportunity to reach people that you might never talk to. And then to register some people who might never have voted before. There and were a lot in New Jersey who had never voted before. That was one of yeah. was like 10% or something. It was a high number. Yeah, and, and Brett, you're sitting down with President Trump on Thursday for a town hall. Yes. What are you looking forward to asking him? Well, so Is first he going of all, to be trolling during that? I'm sure he'll well. be trolling. I'm <laughs> sure he will. Uh, it'll be a lot of voters, just like the, the Mayor Bloomberg town hall that we just did in Manassas, Virginia. This one is in Scranton, Pennsylvania, which obviously is the place that Joe Biden grew up. Biden territory. It's also, uh, <laughs> it has been Trumpish yeah. uh, in, in at least the last cycle. And uh, he has a lot of support there. So how he plays in Pennsylvania and obviously these other states across the Rust Belt will be key. So we're going to, uh, it'll be a lot of audience questions. Martha and I will follow up, obviously. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We haven't done it. We're happy the president has agreed to it. And it should be interesting TV.
That'll be fun. That's an understatement, I think. I, I think. will be watching. Do we expect him to respond tonight to the Super Tuesday? Do we expect him to be tweeting about the results? He tends to do this, but what do you think? I think he'll for? real tweet. Uh, real time. Real time tweet. Yes, I think, um, you know, listen, he's got these names. They they come off the, the Twitter handle all the time, and uh, he'll be speaking mm. anytime he gets a chance. <laughs> and, anytime gonna, he gets an idea. He's down with RTT. Yes. Tweet. Well, <laughs> well <I think> <laughs> make sure to check out good. free time here that's on the couch. Karen's really does want to start <laughs> a ban. <You're>, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. 6.30 p.m. this Thursday, Brett and Martha with President Trump, and polls closing in a little over six hours.